Ooh. Yeah, this is one. Um, it's one arm that very few people are walking around know. But Jay was telling the truth about the uh, when he said had to buy your chain back the last time you got robbed. Notice how you said that. Because it's true. That statement was true. Now, there are two different instances. And sometimes they get tied up or twisted into a knot to where it's two, it's one incident. But no, it was actually more than once. This is, it happened twice with Nas. He had one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. But unless you was in the know at that time, wasn't social media around, wasn't a lot of people involved that would jump on the internet and start running around saying stuff. Now, the one that happened on the East Coast, we address that. Okay. But we will be omitting certain people's names because, you know, it's street stuff. Now, Nas is big. He had the chain. He was doing his thing at the time. And he was one of the biggest artists in the game. Now, one dude felt slighted by Nas. At one point, they was at a party or whatever. And he felt like he kept wolves off Nas' back. And he, you know, he should have gotten some type of recognition for his services that he did way back when you know when such and such was such and such so anyway he he feel tight faced you know about the situation but he ain't mad at him he liked the young bull he wants to see the young bull do something so Um, Nas is going to meet up with a couple of his homies who five percenters and do some other stuff on the side. They go to this party where it's like MCs, you know, a couple of people in there, you know, and there's some ladies in there. It's nice, nice setting and all this stuff. And Nas show up, you know, makes his rounds. And at this point, he's you know, the Nas, you know, the firm Nas. So he come in looking dapper and he was like, ooh, you know, made eyes with this chick. And she's with a, a, a hustler, you know what I'm saying? That's her man and whatever. But Nas is looking like, well, we don't know him. So Nas, before he leave, you know, he making eyes at her, giving her smirks. She, I guess she's giving flavor back. You know, I, I got to translate it the way it was told to me. <laughs> so y'all going to get it that way. She was kind of get flirting back and kept staring at him. So what Nas did, you know, before he left, and he asked his boy, yo, give me a 50. Boy gave him a $50 bill. Nas wrote his number on it and told his boy to go over there and get a number to her. I mean, get a $50 to her, and, you know, it's the number on that. And be like, nah, I said call her. And had a number on it. So she can call. And she called a number, and it was a beeper number. So she put a beeper, you know, message in there, whatever. And the rest was history because dude found out about it. And he was pretty hot. And, you know, they had another out in it, and, you know, things went a certain way. It was a scuffle that broke out up in there and whatever, what have you. And because dude was a somebody, Nas, you know, situation went left to the point where the chain became missing. Now, that's all we know. In less than a week, the chain was returned. The 
reportedly by E Money Bags for no money. Nas, for his generosity of doing that and bringing that chain back to Nas, he was inserted as Nas' new best friend, Nas' new hanging buddy, him and E Money Bags was like blood brothers after that. Now, the dude who had the chain took in and all this stuff, reportedly, he's no longer around. Something might have happened to him in his line of work, but reportedly, he's no longer around. So, that ended that incident, and I doubt that was ever reported. But people in the know knew about what happened at that point. And it helped Nas get some type of credibility of don't mess with Nas, you know, at that time. So moving along, there's a Cali situation. And some things go down. Because this one's the sketchy one. Like there was some fight that broke out somewhere else and had nothing to do with Nas altogether. Um, his chain comes up missing in this melee, right along with other people's. And when the chain came up missing, they didn't want this to get out that Nas chain ended up coming up missing in this situation because he was, yo, with well, my piece, his piece is gone. So they had to track down who had the chain. And once they found out who it belonged to from recognizing the chain, that they had Nas chain and such and such said he can get it back. Supposedly JT, the bigger figure, helped get helped broker the deal to get the chain back. And I think it cost him 30 bands to get it back. If I'm not mistaken, they could have made it less or whatever, but it's rumored that JT, the bigger figure, brokered the deal and said, Look, I know who got it. They want 30 bands. I can have it to you by the day. Nas is like, all right. <laughs> See if they can do it for such and such and such and such. And in exchange, he was supposed to help JT out with some record deal with somebody else. I think with Def Jam or something like that. I don't know. But all I know is what, what's been told to me in that situation, in that light, that these incidents happen, they real, they're not fake, <laughs> these are real incidents that happen in the streets, but it never got reported because the persons really never really had beef with him, except for the first incident, but the second incident really had nothing to really do with him, he had no beef with nobody or nothing, he just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Somebody else got into it with somebody and his crew, somebody and his chain ended up getting broken up in the melee. And there it is. So I'm done with that. <laughs> it's hard to tell this story. You know what I'm saying? When you don't have the, the pieces all together, but there you go. Go with it or how you may. <laughs> Take it and run with it how you may. If I could just tell you this story flat out, and like the other, like the first one and this one, they would be epic. But I can't. So, like I'm saying, do what you, you know, you got to do. It's your boy Carcito, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do.